There's a lot of people out there that will give you a lot of advice. A lot of it's good advice. A lot of people know what they're doing. A lot of people can do stuff effectively. A lot of people don't know why they give like the advice that they give you. They just know that that's what they do. Um, what, what led me to think about this was uh, I welded a piece into the bottom of this door. Uh, I did a video where I did the inside while well, I've done the outside. You know, I'll show you. Just, 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 just to hang on a sec, would you? So, uh, yeah. If you look down there, you see how that looks like a little piece of pie down in that corner? So that's a piece I welded into that corner. Now the point of this is why that looks like a little piece of pie down there. Now, uh, they say, they, they say that when you weld a piece in like that, you want to round your edges off. Even, uh, so when I did my schooling, they said that in my schooling, when you're welding, say it, it was, they said a rust patch, when you weld a rust patch in your door, you round your corners off. Why do you round your corners off? They just say to control warpage. Nobody tells you why to control warpage. Most of those people, if you ask them, they don't know why it controls warpage. They just know that you want to round your corner off because it helps control warpage. Well, I can tell you why it helps you control warpage because I do know why. Um, I've seen a lot of people like that. The problem with knowing how to do something and doing it effectively and getting it done, but not knowing why you do that, is if you get into trouble with it, well, you don't know how to fix it because you don't know why you're doing that. I've, I've worked with a lot of guys who can paint, and I mean, they can paint like a bastard. But if they get in trouble in the booth, they don't know how to fix it because they know what to do, but they don't know why they're doing it. I've worked with guys that they, they've had somebody who knows how to paint and why they know how to paint set up a paint gun for them, but you can't touch any of the knobs on their paint gun because then they're just a clown. They don't know what to do because they don't know why the gun is set up like that. Same with welding like this. A lot of, most of the people that will tell you why, they don't understand why. I know why, and I can tell you why. Here, let me get something here, just a sec. You'll hear something. So, we use this as a whiteboard. It's the back of a lanaminated, lanaminated. Where am I going to put it? How's that? So you got a door, yeah? Can you see this? Here, where should we do this? What about here? I'm a good teacher, hey? <laughs> hey, let's see how you can see that. Can you see that? What's going on here now? All right. Okay, okay. So, squeak, 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 squeak. So you got a door. Here's your door. Oh, look at that door, hey? It's an old door. It's got a bent window. And an elbow hanging out. A dude. A little mom tattoo. Hair in the wind. Big eyeball. What's that? Hey, look at that guy. <laughs> All right, hey, never mind that. Oh, that's permanent. Damn. All right, anyways, now let's change the felt here because that's a permanent marker. We'll go to this one. All right. So now you got a big rust hole in the bottom of your door down. Uh, so you're going to weld a patch in, right? Pretty good sized patch. Yoink, yoink. There's your patch you're going to weld in, right? So, so now here's your patch that you welded in, right? Here's the bottom of your door. Here's your patch. So you welded it in. Bzz, 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 bzz. You're cooling your welds while you're welding, etc., etc., etc. Everything's going on really good. You get to here, to that corner. Now, as you've welded up here, the weld, it's you're hardening the metal, right? It's it's you're putting the weld shrinking. It's pulling the metal a little bit tighter. The weld itself is harder. Everything is harder. So. Uh, Warpage is caused by your weld shrinking. I don't give a shit what anybody says. And that's what's doing it. So all these welds have shrunk up a little bit. But you're doing all right. You're controlling it. It's working out well for you. But this is hard. Ah, ah, and this is hard. Ah, ah. So now when you put these welds in over here, 
it can't pull from here and it can't pull from here because that's too hard. There, there's no give in it anymore. And this area down here between this flange here and this flange here and this being a fairly small area, it, it, it's kind of it, it's it's that the it's not going to pull from there either because it's locked in by these two hard areas so that effectively makes this a completely separate panel from this this winds up being a completely separate panel and has different characteristics than the rest of this door so when you're welding there which is here and you're already hardened up there and there so these few welds in this corner when they cool they got to pull from somewhere because that's what it does but it can't pull from there so it's got to pull from here. So you're hard here, yeah, yeah, right? So it's and it can't pull from in here. It might be able to pull a little bit from that corner, but probably not. So it's going to pull from here and from there, right? It's going to pull outwards like that. Now what's going to happen from that little corner that you just done because of that is you're going to get a big sinkhole right there, guaranteed every time. It might come up, it might go down. Either way. When it pulls it, it's going to put a, it's going to stretch it and it's going to move it one way or the other. It's going to sink it into a dent or you're going to get a high spot. Quite often you'll wind up getting a high spot right there. And you'll get a high spot that you just can't beat down. Just like a morning teepee. And if you do manage to beat it down, you're going to wind up getting an oil can in your door over here. And that oil can is going to be impossible to get out of there because it's because you've changed the dynamics of the door. Now, if you take this patch and you weld it, you make it round like that, well, you don't ever wind up concentrating a hunk of weld in that corner because you can just keep on going back and forth and back and forth, right? If you make that round, you don't ever wind up. It's a pinch point is what you're getting in this corner. You're getting a pinch point, right? Right there, you get a pinch point. If you do it like that, you don't ever get that pinch point. So you're not going to get this and you're not going to get that. And if you've ever done this before, and if you're being honest with yourself, chances are pretty good you run into this. Might not happen every time. You might be able to control it. A lot of times, if I have no choice but to do something like this, that's where I'll start. Is I'll start right there in that corner and I'll work my way out to the ends. See what I'm saying? Now, the, the people that will give you this advice to tell you to do this, but they don't understand why to do that, they're the same kind of people that tell you that when you've welded in a patch into somewhere, start welding at the bottom and work your way up because heat rises. Because <laughs> heat rises. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm not saying don't listen to those people that give advice because a lot of times it is good advice. They just don't understand it. They can do it, but they don't know why they're doing it. Um, that's the key to being successful in doing shit is learn learn why you're doing it. Why do you wipe your bum? Is it because the Kleenex is nice and soft? No, there's a purpose behind it. We won't get it. We could get further into theories on that, but we're not gonna. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'd done that yesterday, and I was thinking about it when I made my curve, and I was thinking about the fact that, uh, like I say, I know for a fact that there's people out there that will give you advice on how to do stuff, but they don't know why they're doing it. It's important to know why. Because then, when you, like I say, when you get in trouble, you understand why you're doing it that way, so you can try to fix it. That's pretty much all this is about, really. I just kind of wanted to cover that. Because, like I said, I know for a fact that if you don't know why you're doing it, then you can't fix it when you get into trouble. And if you do enough stuff, regular enough, you're going to get in trouble. It happens. It's the way she goes. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it. See ya. <laughs>